Welcome to the first videos in the series where I'm going to show you how to build a Spring Boot API or a Spring Boot backend application along with an Angular application that's going to be communicating with that backend. And at the end of this course, you're going to build this application that you're looking at on your screen. And this is a simple employee manager application where you can manage employee. At the top, you have the name of the application, so employee manager. And then you have this add employee, which is a button. So if I click on add employee, I have this nice form where I can enter a new employee information and then save my changes. So I entered this new guy here and then now I'm going to click on save changes. Now you can see if I remove the last image URL here and the input in the form, you can see now I can click this button anymore. The button is disabled. That's because we have validation on this form. I'm going to go ahead and put that address in here and then I'm going to click save. As you can see, now we have John Hutchins in here. And of course, to the far right, we can search. So if I go in there and I type Rick, as you can see, everyone that has Rick and their name is there. And if I put a K here, not only Rick Robinson is on this list. So another thing you can do here is you can edit employees information. So let's say Scarlett got married. She changed her last name and we want to update her last name. So I can click on this edit icon here, which is a button. And then I can go here. Let's say the last name is now, I don't know, Smith. And we can just save. Now you can see the last name is Smith. And of course, we can delete an employee. So let's say we want to remove someone from the list. Uh, we can just click on this X right here. Once we click on this, it's going to give us this validation message. And this is like a safe way to make sure you're deleting the user. If you are making a mistake, you can just click no or you can just close this window. Otherwise, you can proceed and then you click yes. As you can see now, Ocean is gone. And this is a very simple application. I just made it up just so I can use it as an example for what we're going to be building. This could be anything. It could be users. It could be students. And of course, we can add way much more functionalities to it. But that's just a simple example. And uh, that example is good enough for you to have a very good understanding you know, of how you can create an API with Spring Boot and then use any front-end application uh, for that matter to actually communicate with the backend. So grab your coffee or tea or whatever else you're drinking. Uh, we have a lot to cover and I'll see you in the next lecture.